What's up guys, it's Alex. So in today's video, I just want to talk to you guys about a dropshipping nightmare, something known as Chinese New Year, where essentially all production and shipping just completely stops in China for a little over a week. Now, if you want to continue running your business, you're going to want to find ways around this. Now this is something you guys will want to prepare and plan for, so my apologies for not actually making this video sooner. I've just been very swamped with work in my own stores and everything else that I got going on, but I will give you guys some changes and tweaks you can make to your own stores right now to continue doing business over the next couple of weeks, and I will actually take you upstairs and show you what I got going on and walk you through my own workstation. Now before we actually do that, I do want to give you guys some background and best practices, so let's talk about it. Chinese New Year is essentially a one week celebration, also known as Spring Festival, where they're just celebrating the new year. Shipping is typically halted 10 days. This year we're going from February 12th to February 22nd. Now every factory is different. Typically they take time off before and after that period. It's up to you to contact your suppliers and know which dates are going to be out of business so you guys can plan accordingly. You want to give them time and actually place any bulk orders you'll need to in advance so you guys aren't scrambling for inventory last minute. Now there's actually five ways around this, some of which I've done in the past and some people around me have done as well. So the first option is actually using a US based fulfillment service. So basically these are just warehouses that you send your inventory to in bulk and they manage, pack and ship all of your orders for you for a monthly fee. You can actually go above and beyond and get custom packaging or your logo on these products and everything else to do with that. Now if you guys don't know any of these websites or services, I can absolutely recommend some to you, but just a quick Google search for a US fulfillment service or US based warehouse service, anything like that and you guys should be able to find a good company. Now the second option is actually what I'm doing right now and I'll walk you through the entire process in just a moment when we go upstairs, but that's ordering bulk inventory to your own home and shipping it out yourself. So essentially you want to get a printer or a label printer, a bunch of shipping bags, and then just order your inventory in bulk and this allows you to do quality control, put your logo on it, get custom packaging, and everything else to do with that. Number three is finding a true US supplier. So a lot of times on AliExpress they'll show up as US supplier, but the inventory still comes from China and then they just slap a US label on it so a lot of times it takes the same amount of time and it comes from the same place but finding a true US based supplier will allow you to continue shipping throughout Chinese New Year and any other holidays now the fourth option is if you're unprepared and you're just finding yourself in this moment right now and it's actually putting a notice on your website saying all of your items are in back order they'll get shipped out on whenever the date your supplier continues shipping so you're going to want to reach out to your supplier find out which dates are going to be halted and then just put that notice on your website with a few days you know to allow them to catch back up on all other orders and then just really scale back your ads you do not want to continue scaling during this period otherwise you're going to find yourself with lots of refunds chargebacks and just bad overall service. Now the fifth option I'm actually doing on one of my side stores because I didn't have time to prepare for this and this is just halting ads for an entire week and brainstorming for what you're going to do afterwards. So right now I'm designing content, setting up all my promotions, and just working with new suppliers to get everything prepared for the long run when I'm done. Okay, so back on the note of shipping orders out yourself and ordering them in bulk in advance, let's actually head up to my workshop right now and I'll show you exactly how that process works and what I do day in and day out. Okay, so right up here in my spare room are two boxes of inventory out of 10. So what I usually do is keep two inventory boxes out at one time and grab them as I need them to keep things stocked up and flowing. I'll order 10,000 units of inventory every month and by ordering so much this allows me to use sea shipping to save a lot of money in the process. If you guys don't know what that is, sea shipping is basically where you load your boxes on a cargo ship from China to wherever your business is located. Now sea shipping usually takes about 30 days to get compared to air freight with like you know UPS or something taking like three to seven days. Now I actually do have another supplier that I use if I do need an emergency order. So by that I mean if my stock starts to run down super low and I need inventory fast and can't wait for the sea shipping, I'll just place an order with them and get my order from three to seven days using UPS but that costs significantly more. Now I would show you guys the inside of the boxes but I'm not exactly in a position to show you guys my inventory and my winning product right now. But I do want to show you guys the actual process of shipping them out so let's go take a look at that. Okay, so this is an inventory storage bin that I got yesterday to actually make the whole process a lot easier. So I have inventory in all the bins below. And the first one up top right here, we have our shipping bags, our Sharpies, and there's usually thank you cards in here, but I got to print them out right now. And then on top, I have a laundry basket full of all my orders going out and then all the orders I have to fulfill. We got about 30 right there. Now what I do is every morning after the gym I take that laundry basket back there and either run to the post office or run to a series of blue bins and drop those off and get them shipped out. 
So every day when I fulfill orders, I go through on my laptop right there and I go on a website called PirateShip.com. So PirateShip finds the best discounts available and gets you the cheapest possible shipping labels for your customers through USPS. Now once I have all of my shipping labels created and paid for, I go through and print them all out using my label printer right here. I just got that and invested it for my business. It's one of the best purchases I've made in a long time. I'll go through and stick them all to my shipping bags right here and place them in a pile right there to get started shipping them out. Now with any shipping business, you're going to need a digital skill to actually create your labels so that you know how much your packages weigh. Now as I've mentioned, I hit the gym every single morning at 5 a.m. So I grab this laundry basket my way out and I hit the post office on my way back with a smoothie. So I hope by now you guys are more prepared and comfortable with the week of Chinese New Year and you guys can actually prepare your stores for next year and every year beyond. If this video helped you out in any way, go ahead and drop a like to help me out and subscribe as there's plenty more to follow. I have two e-com resources linked in the description below. You're welcome to check out either one of those. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.